hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel excel vba expert in today's video we are going to learn how we can attach multiple attachment in outlook all right so far that we are aware of that how we can attach a single attachment right but when it comes about to attach the multiple attachment the attachment can be at any attachment it can also be powerpoint it can also be you know the excel uh, csv file notepad anything right so we need to you know make the things very dynamically so that whenever as as soon as the person will click on this run button so this should ask me the this should ask me to select the files whatever files that you want to select right such a feature that we will we need to create right so that this will help uh, this will help you know to the user to select the file as per the requirement that is what we, we will be learning and how we can accomplish these things we will learn in this video all right so here i have already created the one already i have created that code just to demonstrate you how this works right so as soon as if i will click on this run button in yellow one okay so this will, this is asking me to selecting the files whatever the files that i want to attach right for example for example if i am going in documents okay here i do have files of pdf for example all right and uh, the excel one and one access the three files i have selected over here right if i will click on open so this will this will you know draft on one email now you guys can see the three files that i selected right now you know these files i mean those files now have been attached here right this is what that we need to accomplish how we can do the same so here uh, i have already told you in my previous videos that if whenever it comes about to integrate our excel with the outlook so in that case we need to enable one library which is the external library okay uh, that that that's you know we need to uh, enable it manually which is which is the microsoft outlook 16.0 object library right if i would go if i would press alt f11 okay so here you need to go in the tools in the tools you need to go in the references uh, in my case that i have already enabled this microsoft outlook 16.0 object library this is what that you need to search okay this will be you know in the middle of you need to basically search it okay this will be in your uh, in your you know tools option okay you need to enable it and just click on ok as soon as you will click on ok then the process is now the final process is started to begin right here now we need to know that how, what code that we need to perform okay basically we will be creating the very normal you know uh, code okay which basically you know display the empty empty you know mail body that's what we, we are doing to do first i'm going to declare dim ot as new outlook application then dim outlook mail as outlook dot mail item okay dim k as an integer p as a variable all right okay that i have declared my variable here okay i don't need to set it again ot because i have already set here as a new okay so now i just need to set it oml okay outlook mail so i am just clicking set oml ot dot create item okay and i need to select ol mail item all right now uh, now what next we need to do so here basically this is what we created we are going to work on the mail body on the mail item simple all right now with oml what we need to perform here we need to define very short code very in a few lines of a code we will be achieving this requirement to in the two whatever to whomsoever you want to keep i'm just keeping in my case vba excel vba expert at the rate gmail.com okay i'm just copying this okay we'll paste it in cc also in subject whatever subject that you want to keep it is up to you okay i'm keeping it test one and in html body i'm just you know making very small body hi all hi all okay and we just need just closing it and next we need to write in the next line is please find the attached you know attachment attach file as per the requirement all right that's what we need to do we need to close it here next line we need to write of thanks and regards thanks and regards we need to have written here okay i will also share this file with you guys so that you can also have a look on this code so this will help you a lot to understand you all right 
so this is not that much massive coding but yes this is a very power powerful coding i believe okay because whenever it comes about to attach the multiple attachment people get actually confused so here okay thanks in regard after that session not current user i'm not you know explaining this html body okay i will explain in the later on but in this video my main motive is to you know showing you how we can attach the multiple attachment all right so here now we have done it okay if we would display so this will you know create the normal if i would press f5 you guys can see no, normal you know mail body now created the attachment is not here now the main thing we need to do is attachment right so we need to declare we already we declared you know on the top you guys can see p as a variant in the p we would be you know selecting the file application dot get open file okay in the last multi select should be true okay this is what the first thing now here we need to you know run one loop for k equal to l bound lower bound to p and upper bound to p i mean whatever the files we will be selecting if it is more than one if it is one so it will start to run from the one to you know the maximum number of files that we selected right so here we need to write attachment dot add okay in the k sorry in the p it should be k simple next k nothing we need to do more than this this is the process guys okay the main line which we have learned in this video is to attaching the multiple files okay that's what we did and message box mail body has been mail body has been created right give me information that's it this is a small code okay the main the main thing we have learned here this one okay this one okay because these are the part which we have already learned in my previous video but this is the main thing this is the process guys that you can attach the multiple attachment all right so if i would assign this macro in this green one assign macro it should be attach multiple multiple attachments okay right yes if i will click on this run now what would happen yes it is asking me to selecting the file for example i am selecting here all these files okay and clicking on open so how this is going to work now you guys can see in just few seconds now the mail actually has created with all the attachment that we selected you know in the browsing in the browser that uh, okay which was asking to selecting the attachment right so we selected and those attachment really you know have been attached in the mail body and as per the requirement that we have really accomplished it okay and i'm just you know discarding it okay this is the mail this is the code guys that you guys can learn okay and even i will also attach this files you can use it okay in your practice for your practice purpose guys but this will definitely is going to help you a lot all right so i hope guys this i hope guys uh, this you have liked and uh, you have liked or learned something okay so let's meet in the next video okay so with a new topic okay definitely there would be some you know something new for you guys all right so let's meet in the next video and for the time being thank you so much everyone for watching this video thanks a lot